Good morning. I'm so excited to be filming this video. Although you guys have watched one video before this, this is actually my first time filming a video in so freaking long. It just feels so good to be back chatting with you guys. You're like my little family, my sisters, like, ugh. I just miss YouTube. If you're new here, you may not know that I took a little mental health break uh, from YouTube and just because I was really busy and I actually have a video explaining why I left. But I'll also link it down below and you can also go back and see the I'm back YouTube. So that will give a full explanation. Country Life is actually sponsoring this video. I am really, really appreciative of your support and also their support of me. I really, really enjoy and appreciate their supplements and just, so I'll share more about those in a minute. But also if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited to have you. My name is Mallory. I'm actually an RD, which is a registered dietitian. And I like to share about all things intuitive eating, food freedom, ED recovery, but also just lifestyle stuff. My favorite type of vlogs to do and videos to do are vlogs that are of my life, but intermixed with tangible, actionable tips that you can use in your day-to-day -day life. And that's exactly what this video is gonna to be today. I'm actually getting ready, well, first of all, I'm actually getting back from a bachelorette trip, which was so fun, but a lot. And obviously completely just doing all the things, eating all the things, drinking all the things, traveling, not moving my body. And I actually have a trip coming up again, going to Nashville with my college friends, this weekend and i know that trips can be really stressful for people feeling like they have to change the way they eat the way that they move and you may feel that pressure and i want to show you how i prepare for going on a trip or vacation how i do or do not change my food how i work out all of those things and you'll probably be surprised <laughs> it's not maybe what you think that you see in typical videos because I really think that life is a lot better when we don't have to slingshot back from restriction to feeling like we're overeating or eating all these things to make us comfortable, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, this intro is getting long, but I'm really excited to have you here. And I'm gonna be showing you guys all the things, what I'm eating, as I said, how I'm packing, what supplements I bring, all of the stuff. So without further ado, let's get into it. <music> I didn't do the greatest job of filming yesterday because I had back-to-back -back client meetings, but I want to do more today. I have a lot more kind of just work time and also time to get prepped, pack, starting tomorrow. I'm kind of a procrastinating packer. Let me know if you're like an overly prepared packer or if you procrastinate like me. <laughs> I did end up going to the sauna this morning. I keep forgetting to take in my camera, um, but I'll put in a video right here for me at Perspire. It is very much a privilege and a luxury to be able to do that and also an investment for me just because it's helped so much with my health but i also think it's great for going into traveling reducing inflammation all of that stuff so i've been really going there this week and it's definitely been helping me feel good and i like to take that time in the morning to do a little meditation to read my letting go book which i have right here um and that was just really nice so i have one client session today because i had to kind of pack him in a little bit more this week and then i'm maybe gonna head to a coffee shop go to the chiropractor later so i'm gonna take you all with me um i also wanted to mention already this morning i have had lots of different things to eat i have had a banana with peanut butter i've had toast with a full avocado and eggs i've had um, a matcha i've had a little nugget like one of these little bites and that's all before 10 a.m so if you ever question oh my gosh how should i eat does it matter if i eat more in the morning no always just eat when you're hungry that is the most important thing okay we're gonna go too excited to eat and finishing everything but this was a chicken enchilada lasagna i don't know is it chicken lasagna chicken enchilada lasagna i think so um basically instead of rolling the enchilada like rolling the tortillas you lay them flat i got this recipe from nicole and roush she actually has a youtube channel now i'll link her youtube channel down below and i think she has this recipe on her instagram somewhere um and it's so so good 
It's so funny because in the past, I would have never, like during my ED, I never would have let myself have something like this, especially not leading up to a trip because I have so many, I had so many fears around like, oh my gosh, there's both rice, there's rice in there and there's tortillas or like, oh my gosh, there's not enough vegetables or it's not a high volume food. But the thing is, is that this is delicious. I have it on hand. Our body needs fuel. It needs fuel from carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are not bad. Carbohydrates are so nourishing to your body. So this is a perfect, oh, and the cheese too. Nom, 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 nom. Um, such a perfect lunch for today, especially because I think I may go try to work at a coffee shop or something after this. Also, for the lettuce, I never used to, can I stop burping? <laughs> I never used to let myself put oil onto my veggies, which is hilarious because oils actually help to allow you to absorb the fat soluble vitamins from your vegetables. So you're doing yourself a disservice by not having them, but I poured some olive oil on this and oh my gosh, it's so much better. So that's that. This house was probably my favorite that we looked at because I thought it was the most realistic in terms of a great place to have a family, very much just a neighborhood and also a beautiful backyard. So this one was listed at 549,000. It was a three bedroom, two bath and it was- I up to my favorite coffee shop because I want to work some here today. I've been feeling a little bit unmotivated today. It's always hard when you're in transition, you know, between two different trips and just all the stuff going on. So I thought it'd be good to have just a little change of pace. Um, and I love Greater Goods coffee shops. I've been saying for so long, so you guys will be annoyed if you're an OG subscriber, that I want to do a tour of different coffee shops in Austin. So now that I'm re-kicking off the channel, we definitely need to get that going. And I think I said this at the beginning, but please drop your video suggestions down below. I really love creating videos that you guys wanna see, topics that you're interested in. I also act, asked over on my Instagram, at Mallory J Page, same with my username here. If you don't follow, I'll put a little um, thing up on the screen and check me out. Oh my gosh, that sounded so lame. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but I'm gonna hop in and get to work in the yeah, yeah. to this sweet layout for our four year anniversary. Look at all of the goodies, my absolute faves. Happy Thursday. Ryan's running away. I haven't done my hair yet. <laughs> it is the day that I leave for the trip, really late, so we're gonna pack together. It is Oh, 658. And I'm trying to decide what I want to have for breakfast. I know I need to incorporate these raspberries because we need to eat them. And I love raspberries, they're so good. Brian is having some of. Yeah. Basically the same thing I have mm. every morning. Those are good. Trader Joe's, baby. I'll eat them for you. No. Get out of here. Wow, you can't come to Milo. Oh, no. Dude. Milo. Hello, good morning. Good morning. He's very cute. Oh, Sana. Look at my face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that sunbeam, though. Beautiful. finished up a client session and I'm gonna try to literally rush and pack because basically I still you guys didn't see yesterday but yesterday was a little bit of a struggle I'm not gonna lie to you I couldn't find anything that I wanted um, to wear and I feel like you know I don't know I think girls understand this my haircut something I got it just doesn't make me feel the most confident 
sometimes it's really hard for me like feeling like I need clothes to just like distract from the fact that I don't feel the most confident in my skin and my hair and I'm just sharing this to say that like even if you know I don't struggle with my eating disorder anymore and I'm a dietitian that helps people like everybody has their days when they're not as confident so I'm gonna try to go and run to the store and just get like one more shirt um, before I go and I'm gonna pack up right now which I cannot believe that the time is here and to go along with this I want to show you guys the different um, things that I'm gonna bring with me too just for snack purposes for feeling my best all of that stuff after I do this He switched over to the phone because I did not bring a big enough bag to carry my camera and I didn't want to forget it. But I just got to the domain here in Austin. I'm gonna go try to find an outfit for tomorrow, or sorry, for Friday when I'm in Nashville. Um, it's really interesting. I remember I used to literally dread going to try on clothes because I would be so stressed about what the size was going to be and how it would fit. And now it's just so different. Oh, where am I going? It's just so interesting how different that is now. Um, so yeah, thinking about that. This also feels like quite a luxury. I never really do stuff like this during the week. So it makes me a little anxious when I'm not working, but I'm also like, you know what? I know this will make me happy if I do this and find something I'm confident in. Making some lunch. I'm having the same thing as yesterday, to be entirely honest. <laughs> um, and I'm also packing up my supplements. I wanna actually talk with you guys a little bit more about Country Life vitamins specifically, because they are something I've been taking for a while, but I'm also taking on my trip. So I told you guys that Country Life is actually sponsoring this video. I am really, really appreciative of your support and also their support of me. I just absolutely love their supplements and the experience that I've had with them. So now this is finally on my eighth week that I've been taking them. I wanted to give them the full try before I gave you guys any recommendations. I never recommend products that I don't love and I have tried these products thoroughly. So it takes eight weeks to see results for the Maxi Skin Rescue and about six weeks for this one, but I've taken both of them for eight weeks because I really wanted to give you guys the full rundown. If you're not new around here and you follow my YouTube channel or me on Instagram, you know that I really struggle with my skin. So this is the Maxi Skin Rescue. So this one is more to help as they specifically say on the bottle. It is shown to support skin coloring and reduce imperfections in just eight weeks. So I have a lot of skin coloring, if you can see, um, and a lot of unevenness to my skin tone. And I have found that this has really made a difference in reducing those things. Plus, this does help with skin tone as well, and it is clinically studied. So this is the Maxi Skin Cera Clear. So I've taken both of these, and this one is freaking amazing because it helps with reducing whiteheads and blackheads, and it also works in just six weeks. And I can say I've noticed a really big difference. I'll put a picture up on the screen, but comparing to what I had just like as of eight weeks ago, six weeks ago, what I've seen in my skin is a big difference. Of course, it's not this complete improvement. We can never ever expect supplements to completely negate any issues that we have with our skin, but they can extremely help in how our skin feels, how it looks, all of those things. So thank you again to Country Life for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for supporting me. The links to this are down below. I highly suggest trying it out. It's a really amazing brand and company. And um, I'm packing these in my suitcase along with my other huge bags. It's me and I am back in Texas. I didn't get to show you guys quite as much as I wanted to, but I hope that the theme of the video still came across that you don't need to do anything to prepare for a trip or a vacation. Just doing exactly what you do that makes you feel your best is the absolute best thing that you can do for yourself and your relationship with food and your body and movement and all that stuff. So just coming back, I did just the same thing. I gave myself extra sleep. I focused on what made me feel good. I continued to take 
the supplements that make me feel my best, eat the way that makes me feel my best, all of that stuff. I had so much fun when I was in Nashville. I'll put in some pictures right here um, of the trip. And you can see this more on Instagram as well. I ate so many delicious things too. Oh my gosh, I had barbecue, I had fried chicken sandwiches, I had um, some delicious tacos, I had so many good things. So thank you again for tuning in and watching. As a reminder, the link to Country Life stuff is below. If you have any questions, things that you wanna see from me, please comment down below. I'm always here to chat and I appreciate you guys, bye. Thank you.